Maybe it's a stage or age in my life and the experiences that I've had that got me to the point where I wanted to do some good with my life. A sense of self-worth, making a contribution. And we feel like what's going on here today is a start of doing something profoundly different that'll have profound goodness for the rest of the planet. Trey Taylor plans to give New York a new kind of energy. Safe, clean, and limitless. His energy source literally surrounds Manhattan. The water flows around New York City are much like an untapped battery of source of power. Because it's not only this East River that we're crossing over right now, but it's also the Hudson River. So all of Manhattan, New York, its five boroughs are surrounded by moving water, tides and rivers. And that's a tremendous amount of power to be tapped. Trey has spent seven years developing the world's first free-flow hydro technology to harness that power. Each turbine is expected to generate 35 kilowatts, enough to power 20 households for a year. The kinetic hydropower turbines will extract energy from the East River that runs past Manhattan's east side. The first to benefit will be this speciality food store right on the river's edge. They're the first takers of this power. Yes. It is going to work here. And then from New York, the rest of the United States, Canada, the UK, and then off we go into the developing countries. The first step in the turbine installation is securing a barge in the river to provide a safe working platform. They'll need it. In the past, Dutch sailors named this channel Hell's Gate. Every six hours, the gravitational pull of the moon draws tides through the East River. These currents are moving at about uh, four knots, and that's about the speed of a sailboat goes. Now, if people have never been in the water, uh, that's the kind of stuff that'll just knock you over. Uh, that's really very fast water. But for us, that's good. That's a lot of energy in that kind of water. Two divers will bolt the turbines into foundations sunk into the riverbed. It's only safe to dive at the turn of the tide, when the water is briefly calm. Their diving window lasts less than an hour. Diving is dangerous, especially with this dive, because this dive I've got like 45 minutes to get in the water, do my thing and get out, so I don't have any time. And the current here is really bad because of all the sediment that picks up and you can't see very far because it's black at the bottom, it's pitch black. The race against the clock begins. If the divers don't finish on schedule, the turbines could be swept away. And so could the divers. In the East River that flows past New York's Manhattan Island, turbines are being installed that will convert the power of tidal water into electricity. Because the tidal current is so strong here, it's an installation challenge. And the turbine technology is, as yet, unproven. Okay, fish, good job. Five meters underwater, the visibility is less than a meter. And on the bottom. It's so dark below, the divers need a compass to guide the turbines into place. Yeah, two pulses about 245. Roger. 
With more than four tons of steel suspended from the crane, it's a touchy moment for everyone. Swing it back and touch. Swing back to the left and touch, Roger. Roger that. There are risks. If they release it and this thing yaws or the current's picked up enough, it could spin and it could hit the diver, hurt the diver. Just a touch. Just a touch down, Roger. The number one turbine is in place. Beautiful, Ben. The key question is about to be answered. Will the tide generate electricity? The sensors detect a problem. The turbine isn't working. Is there any way they can get it up? I'm going to say that this rotor is not strong enough for this current. The current has bent all three blades. The, the first turbine is broken. And the reason that it broke is we were putting it under a number of stresses which really told us how much power is in this river. It's tremendous forces. We tested it to the extent that it broke. The second strengthened turbine is installed. The tide turns and the current picks up speed. Inside the turbine, a coil spins within a magnetic field, generating electricity. We got power? We do. We have power. And electrical power flows to the market. Congratulations, everybody. The shop can now take some of its power from the tide. I understand that the tides create the power. Unless the moon falls off the sky, we're going to have power. That's a very important aspect for this door. It's revolutionary. This is the future. This calls for a celebratory toast. The plans call for as many as 300 turbines in the East River. We've been working for a long time to get to this point. And it's like a sense of relief. We made it. We're here now. And everything else from this point forward will just keep getting better. A full array of turbines could generate 10 megawatts, a tenth of all New York's power. If we can begin to harness moving water, which is abundant, I mean, two-thirds of the planet's covered by water, and that gives me such an exciting feeling. That's really where I draw my passion from that. And if you think for a moment of the current in the Gulf Stream, there's enough power out there to create more electricity than the entire United States is making right now could happen in the Gulf Stream. 